Vision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm excited today because I'm going to be reacting to yet again another song from Latvia Supernova. Yes, this is Latvia's national selection. And you know, one of the artists that is vying to represent Latvia on the 2024 Eurovision Song Contest stage. Let's get into this reaction. Eurovision 2024. <laughs> I got a new video. Hey, if you've never been to my channel before, welcome. If you love the Eurovision Song Contest, I think you will love my channel. So please take this opportunity to like this video and to subscribe. Now, when I reacted to all the songs from Latvia's national selection, this was one of the songs that stood out to me. But I will say, I added it to my playlist and then I took it off because I was like, I really don't like the verses. So I'm wondering if watching this live, because this seems like a song that like live, it'll be more of like an experience. So to me, I'm like, will I be able to get through the verses? Because the thing about it is this chorus is so catchy. The chorus to me is enough to make it stand out. I don't think anyone else is gonna send anything quite like this. And sonically, it's fun. It has like a little sense of humor. And I think that that's always good to have a song with a little bit of a wink uh, to it. The other thing is, you know, Latvia has not been able to qualify for the Eurovision Song Contest Grand Final in years. And so I really want to get them back at the Grand Final. And a song like this, if executed well, could definitely stick in the minds of some televoters. And so I'm curious. And, you know, let's just get into this reaction, okay? Play. Okay. Oh. Okay, simple. I mean, she sounds exactly like the studio cut. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad that she's not like in a cat outfit. Yeah. And I kind of liked her at the keyboard. And like a moment like this, we need some like augmented reality, like feeling like we're like actually. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Oh, we got choreo. I want to play with you. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I like that we're going going to sleep. Okay, but we don't have a bed. We just have a couch. Supernova, could we afford a bed? We got her in pajamas. I don't want her sleeping on the couch. Okay. No pressure. She sounds just like the studio cut. Yeah. Ooh. I want to play with you, kitty, 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 cat. I kind of don't... I might be entranced. And with the choreo... And I mean, the other reason why this works is because she sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just like I be making music in my basement, this sounds like a song she could have made like with her keyboard in the basement. Kitty, kitty, kitty cat. I want to play with you, kitty, kitty, kitty cat. I, I don't know. I'm feeling like oddly arrested. Will this me, so let's kick it off and talk about the styling. Okay, this is not the clothes. I like the concept of her in pajamas, but if we're doing the concept of pajamas and this song is like so camp and kitsch in a good way, I think then we've got to amp up. We need like set pieces, Latvia. We need to have her in her home, you know, in her home. I, I will say I don't really understand the styling of the 
backing people because I don't even know if I would call them backing dancers. And I don't think that they're singing, so we can't call them backing vocalists. So I'm a little bit confused on that styling. I almost feel like I would appreciate them going for like, you know, I don't know, like just some body suits, like in colors and just like, if we're gonna go kind of wild, like let's go wild abstract as opposed to something so specific with the, with the backing people because they're not cats. And I'm glad that she's not dressed as a cat. I think that would be like too on the nose and ridiculous. I'm appreciating the pajamas. I'm just not quite understanding the narrative of the other people's clothes on stage. I just feel like, why? Because I feel like it's pulling focus a little bit away from our lead vocalist. And we don't ever want to do that. It becomes more distracting, non-optimal. So let's like be thoughtful about that. The other thing I have to point out is her vocal sounds like the studio cut. Now I know the vocal isn't doing anything wild but I mean how many times have we heard people who had very easy songs to sing get on the stage and mess up the the vocal so I'm gonna give her her kudos like it sounds like the studio cut and the way that the sound mixing was done was perfect I think that this is a song that could really benefit from some like slight moments of augmented reality if this were to go to Eurovision. Like I said, when I was listening to this song, I didn't really like the verses. And so I was like, I can't really listen to this like in the car, blah. I will say with this live performance, I was kind of like enthralled enough to keep going. And I think if we were to have this go to Eurovision, which honestly, I with the choreography and just the dun, 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 dun. like you're not gonna forget about it and I think if they go more abstract with the other the backing people in their styling and kind of think think about like what would the root do like <laughs> like I kind of want to say that like what would the root do to kind of stage this and I think if we went with a little bit of that like sort of avant-garde, a little bit more abstract, we could really be in something that feels hypnotic. There's something hypnotic about this. And again, I really feel like this is a song that could stand out in that semifinal. And arguably, this might be the song I'd feel more confident about qualifying if we were to make some of those subtle t tweaks that I suggested. Yeah, all in all, I'm, I kind of I kind of like it. Well, that was my reaction. What do you think? Drop down, talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with my reaction? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree? That's okay too. This is a conversation and you know what? I'm so excited for Eurovision 2024. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I got more content coming for you. <laughs> Bye.